Hi there, this is Jen here today on the Not Too Shabby channel. I thank you so much for uh, stopping by. Uh, today I'm using the 6x6 pattern paper set called Autumn Vibes and I'm just going to use the bottom portion of that. So what I've done is I've uh, fussy cut out that bottom portion and I'm going to set that against this really pretty uh, leaf pattern from the paper pad. Um, this is actually from the box of the month for the month of September, uh, which as you might already you know sold out very quickly there might be some individual items from that box left and I will go ahead and leave a link to the shop below so if there's anything you see here that you want to see if it's available um, I'll leave that link and you can check that out um, but after cutting all my paper I went ahead and added a little bit of foam to that bottom piece and I'm just going to adhere that towards the bottom and then this paper pad has a really beautiful set of matching ephemera. And so I have grabbed some flowers uh, from that set and I trimmed right on the line. This had a white border and I trimmed the white border out because I didn't want it. And so um, there is no white border any longer. Um, and today I'm going to do a little bit of coloring on the pattern paper. Um, this isn't anything mind blowing. It's just something that adds, um, I think it adds a little bit of extra dimension and detail to the already beautiful flowers, but it's kind of an experimentation. Um, I've been doing a lot of coloring on pattern paper lately and so I thought it would be really fun to um, use some alcohol markers. and. The first colors I am doing for the center of the flower are E79, uh, which is that darker color around the outside, and then E31 for the center, uh, mainly because I just wanted to blend that E79 out and I did not want to cover up the um, center of the flower with that color that was already there. And then when I do the flower, uh, the red flower, I'm going to go ahead and use R59 as my darkest color, um, R35 as my mid-tone and then R32 as my lighter color. And this was a really fun way to just pump up the already beautiful uh, pieces of ephemera. It just, I think, adds just a little bit of extra dimension to the pieces. And um, it was so super easy to color these because I was just following along with all of the little detail that is already on the flower. So I just kind of uh, flicking the marker out just like you would do if you were coloring an image and then blending those colors out. Now this paper is a coated paper. Uh, this might might not work so well on a pattern or the colors might not blend so well on an uncoated um, piece of, you know uncoated pattern paper uh, but this definitely worked really well the colors moved really well um, but again the colors I picked are really similar um, to what the flower already was and it's just adding a little bit of extra to um, add a little bit of extra detail. So you can kind of see the top of the flower is alcohol marker and the bottom of that red flower is not. So I haven't colored the bottom of it yet. You can kind of tell there the difference between colored and not. But here are um, or is the image colored and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to do the same thing with the lighter flower and that one I am using R42 as my darker color and then E21 as my uh, lighter color and I'm just flicking out from the center and again just adding a little bit of extra detail uh, to make those flowers really pop and then I'm going to add some foam to the back and add that to my card. And then I'm taking a fine point Winka Stella in gold and I'm just going over some of the different elements on the card and um, dotting the like the pumpkins and some of the leaves. And then I added the sentiment so full of thanks which is from the full of thanks stamp set from the box of the month. And then on to card number two. I'm using this embossing folder. Uh, this is from my stash. I'm going to go ahead and wet a piece of watercolor cardstock and run that through my die cutting machine. And apparently my embossing folder was a little bit dirty. <laughs> so it's got some little uh, splotches of ink on there. But I'm going to be covering that up with these Nouveau... Um, shimmer powders and so I'm using Catherine Wheel and Sun Ray Crossette and I uh, originally I put the red color down the Catherine Wheel and I did not want 
that much on the side. So I'm just taking a brush and moving that uh, around the card so to, to some different areas. Um, and as you can see, I didn't put a lot down. This stuff really uh, packs a bang, just a tiny little amount. And so I'm just taking my water bottle and activating those little splotches of color uh, with the water. And then I'm going to take the Sunray Croset and add that in a few places around the card as well. And then take my water bottle to get those colors kind of to move around um, and activate. And then I'm going to take a paintbrush and grab some of that extra color that is on my mat and add a little bit of splatter. And then once I have that done, I will go ahead and take my heat tool and dry that the best that I can. And then I'm going to set the card aside. And then I took a bunch of the ephemera pieces and cut out uh, a lot of the white border that was around all of the images. And I am just trying to get my uh, layout how I want it. So I'm using this white cardstock to kind of get a feel of my space. And and then I'm going to use the handy dandy press and seal trick. Um, and if you're not aware, press and seal has a sticky side. It is used uh, for like sealing food uh, that you want to stick in the fridge or whatever. Um, but it can also be used in your craft room. And so um, the sticky side is pressed up against whatever your layout is. Um, I usually flip the whole thing over. You can also just peel away the back uh, while it's laying there, but I like to flip it over and then peel the backing away. And so I've gone ahead and removed that um, card panel. And for this, I just added a whole bunch of foam. I wanted it to be popped up from my um, card. And so uh, my piece that I colored, I went ahead and cut that out with a die from my stash and then added that to a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of cardstock. And then I'm gonna flip that press and seal over. I have already removed all of the backing from the foam and I'm just going to uh, kind of move that around until I have it placed where I want. And then I'm going to slowly peel back the press and seal so that it doesn't pull up any pieces. Uh, but a few of the apples were not adhered to anything else and so those did come up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of glue and um, add that to the back of those pieces and then fit those in where they belong. Off the card, I'm adding some dots with that gold Wink of Stella, and then I'll add a few sequins, and that'll be it. And I did just check the Not Too Shabby website. This paper pad is still available, so if you're interested, you can go ahead and grab it. Unfortunately, the other items are not. There is one stamp available as well. I will leave the link below. Um, thank you so much for uh, spending some time with me today. If you liked the video, I would love a thumbs up. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.